Good day everybody. Uh, once again we're back together. Uh, just still analyzing our question paper from uh, November 2021. Okay, so uh, if you haven't subscribed, please just make sure you're part of the family. All right, uh, I know we've reached the end of the year. Um, but of course, uh, for those of you who are still uh, going to be doing matric next year, yeah, you're more than welcome to, you know, invite all of your family and friends and, you know, everyone that's doing uh you know, grade 12, and I'm going to be making sure that I'm your plug when it comes to physical science, right? And we want to grow this family to be bigger and bigger, all right? So we're looking at momentum, question four this time around. Of course, for those of you who need assistance with mathematics or physical science, right, you're welcome to, uh, you know, just uh, uh, hit that dial. Um, our email address is uh, info at mlungisingosi.co.za. Right, so let's look at the question, question four. Right, and uh, please, as I did say, I'm not trying to stress those of you who have already written. Okay, this is just a way for us to just analyze this together. Right, so they say a ball of mass uh, at 10 kilograms, a ball X of mass 10 kilograms, is moving eastwards with a velocity of 2 meters per second. Okay, they've drawn and illustrated that on the diagram. So there's our ball there. Okay. Uh, they say it collides elastically. Now, very important, this statement, okay? Uh, because remember, the moment they say it's an elastic collision, it means that kinetic energy remains conserved, okay? Um, so, uh, with, uh, with another ball Y of mass 2 kilograms, uh, which was moving with an unknown velocity of Vy, okay? Right, so there it is there, okay? So they say immediately after collision, ball X comes to rest and ball Y moves eastwards uh, with a kinetic energy of 36 joules. Okay, they say ignore friction. Right, now they say explain the meaning of the term elastic collision. Okay, so... Um, uh, so remember, we did explain that uh, kinetic, uh, or rather, uh, you know, elastic collision, all it simply means is that um, uh, kinetic energy before uh, should be equal to kinetic energy after. Or in this case, it's when kinetic energy remains conserved. Okay, uh, so that's 4.1 there. I'm not going to write that down. Okay, and then uh, second question they say to us, uh, calculate the velocity Vy. Now I'm going to show you two ways in which you could have done that. Uh, the first one, let me just use the fact that this was an elastic collision, right? So I'm going to say, okay, for 4.2, um, so the kinetic energy, so the sum of the kinetic energy of the system, all right? is equal to the sum of the kinetic energy afterwards. So before is equal to. Now, uh, usually when we test, we just separate them. But this time we know they are equal. So it means the kinetic energy uh, would be equal to the kinetic energy after. The kinetic energy before, the sum of kinetic energy of the system before collision will be equal to the sum of uh, kinetic energy after collision. So then I can say, well, um, so I'm going to say this is for X and this is Y, and this would be for X and Y. Uh, that's because I'm a little bit lazy to write MX, VX, you know. Um, or maybe let's do that. Okay, so MX, VX initial plus MY. Uh, no, sorry, uh, now I'm calculating uh, the momentum, you know. Uh, so that's half mvix squared right and then plus now you'll notice uh, we don't know what the kinetic energy for y is but remember we know um, we know the mass of y so i'm going to say my vy i squared is equal to so this is before right uh, the, so that's initial is equals to half mx vx final squared plus half my vy squared 
that's the final one okay all right so i know the sum of their kinetic energies is the same so all we need to do is just simply say well we know the mass of x uh, um, that was 10 times um, that's 2 squared plus the mass of y is 2 we don't know what that kinetic energy is v y i squared and then after collision they told us that uh, x is stationary so we can say that the kinetic energy of it is zero okay plus half uh, in fact sorry we're, we're given uh, the kinetic energy of y there uh, to be 36 joules okay so then we can use that to calculate the kinetic energy um, uh, or rather the the velocity there so let's calculate that so that's a half of 10 which is 5 uh, times 2 squared which is uh, you know uh, so that would be 5 times 4 which is 20 if I take that to the other side it's going to be 36 minus 20 uh, divided by well half of 2 is 1 and let's actually find uh, so um, I get v i v y i squared is 36 minus that 20 so that will give us 16 and it means that v y would actually be uh, 4 so in that particular case um, it means its velocity um, now of course the the thing about it now we need to know whether it was going in that way or that way uh, but the fact that x remains stationary uh, afterwards uh, perhaps should suggest that um, yeah let's see let's see so the sum of their kinetic energies uh, so this would be four meters per second and remember the, the thing about it is that when you calculate uh, kinetic energy, remember that because it's a scalar quantity, uh, you'll get actually just a, a, a positive value. So we get a, a velocity of 4 meters per second. Okay, I get the strong feeling that it was actually in that direction. But yeah, uh, method number two that I wanted to show you, maybe we'll prove that. Uh, let's see. So we can use, uh, you know, uh, momentum principle, okay? But what we would need to do is find the velocity uh, of y after collision. So remember, we can say, well, we know y, uh, so let's say ek of y, kinetic energy, that's half mv squared, okay? So this would be a half, the mass of y is 2, uh, v squared but in this case we know that uh, kinetic energy was equal to 36 okay so it means that the velocity of y after collision half of 2 is 1 so we can just take the square root there um, so we've got v squared is 36 and then if we take the square root uh, in this case this is going to be 6 uh, meters per second we know the direction so now what we can do is say well we can use principles of momentum. We can say the sum of momentum before collision uh, will be equal to the sum of their momentum uh, of their momentas rather uh, after collision. So we know that uh, for x, okay, I'm just going to say x and y there, and I'm going to say x and y. If you don't mind, I'm just going to try and do this as quickly as possible. Uh, x is 10, um, so we'll take direction to the east. As positive right so that would be 10 multiplied by 2 uh, plus the mass of y is 2 we didn't know the velocity of y okay and then after collision we know that the momentum of x would be 0 because the velocity is 0 and then we know that uh, the momentum of y that would be 2 multiplied by the velocity but remember in this case that's still positive six okay so uh, what we can do now at uh, two times six this would give us um, uh, 12 okay if i take this to uh, 10 times two that would be 20 
So this would be minus 20, okay? Uh, that's 2vy. And of course, we can divide both sides by 2. And we get a velocity of vy. Uh, 12 minus 20, um, uh, obviously, that would give us uh, minus 8, right? And divide that by 2, that would be minus 4, okay? Yeah, so it does confirm in this case. So it must have been 4 meters per second uh, to the west. Okay, so to the west. So please remember this one, you've got an option of plus or minus when you take the square root. Okay, um, uh, 4 meters per second. Uh, in this case, it means it must be to the west. Okay, so those would be the two ways in which you can calculate that. And then the last question, they say uh, the balls were in contact with each other for 0 0.1 seconds during the collision. Calculate the magnitude of the force that the ball that ball X exerts exerted on ball Y uh, during the collision. Okay, okay, so um, so we can say well for 4.3 we can use the impulse momentum equation, okay? F net delta T is equal to the change in momentum, okay? So we, f we want to find the force, uh, the magnitude of the force that ball X exerted on Y. Not that it matters because we know, uh, you remember when I did the, uh, you know, um, the multiple choice, I did say that ball, uh, the, the force that x exerts on y is equal and opposite to the force that y exerts on x, right? So we want the force. We know that the time will be 0 0.1, okay? Right, now let's focus on uh, ball x, okay? So the mass of ball x, all right? So remember when we say change in momentum, it's mass times the change in velocity. So I'm just going to simply say, the mass of ball x is 2, okay? Now, change in velocity is final velocity minus initial velocity. So, what is my um, uh, final velocity for ball x? Okay, that would be 0. Uh, sorry, no, ball x is actually 10. Sorry about that. Okay, that's 10. So, that would be 0, final velocity, minus the initial velocity of ball x was actually uh, 2. So that's minus a positive 2. Okay, because you always say Vf minus Vi. Okay, so in this case, you please must be um, uh, careful about direction. And of course, uh, lastly, we're going to just divide by that 0 0.1. All right, and ooh, sorry for the mess that I've made there. Uh, so that would be minus 20. Uh, divided by 0 0.1, and that would give us uh, minus 200 newtons, okay? So in this case, it would mean that the force that uh, X exerts on Y uh, is 200 newtons. Uh, so this is actually the force that Y exerts on X. But uh, as I said, uh, because they said magnitude, uh, we can actually get away with this. Even if you used Y, uh, you would still be able to get that because remember now we knew uh, what is the uh, velocity of y after collision, right? Um, where is it? Yeah, we found it there. We said it's 6 meters per second, okay? Uh, so in this case, you can say, well, you can take y. That would be 2. Uh, the final velocity of y is 6, okay? The initial velocity of y is minus a minus 4. So you'd have 2 times 10 once again, okay, uh, divided by 0.1. You should be able to get the very same answer. So the magnitude of it there uh, should be 200 newtons. Uh, I hope that has been quite helpful. And essentially, there's your 10 marks for the momentum uh, question. All right, uh, please, I just hope that uh, you will continue to subscribe. And, um, you know, uh, until we see each other next time. Shop, shop.